What's going on YouTube? Gill 78 RC World here coming at you with another video. We are inside the workshop. That's right guys. Um, I do have some news for you. I am working on the uh, Project F350. Uh, I had a bunch of video footage. It all got lost, which totally sucks. Um, <laughs> the bond of work, all that did not come through. It did not work. It, uh, I don't know what happened to the footage. It just completely got lost. I don't know if my camera erased it or how it all worked. But I don't have it. And I'm really sorry about that, guys. Um, the truck did turn out phenomenal. You guys will get to see the truck. Um, and in fact, today I'm taking it out for its uh, Tough Truck Challenge little crawl that me and just a couple buddies are going to do here locally. Um, it's probably going to be like two or three of us. Uh, it already turned out pretty good. As long as it doesn't rain, because it does look like it might rain outside. There's a certain little small percentage of rain, so we'll see how it all goes. But uh, anyways, let's up jibber-jabber, and I know you guys want to see the truck. And like I said, guys, I'm so sorry that the video footage did not turn out, but the truck did turn out uh, phenomenally. So uh, let me go ahead and bust this out on the truck and let you guys check it out. You guys get a little real shot there. Uh... A thing on the wheels too, guys. Um, the wheels are getting changed. I have some bead boxes I'll be picking up hopefully today um, to uh, throw on the truck. So actually I can put some wheel weights in it and really get this thing ready to rock. But anyways, let's go ahead and get going on the truck here. There it is. And I'll tell you what, guys, this thing turned out phenomenal. You guys wanted a rush truck. I know uh, a lot of you guys had said something about a rush truck on the uh, on the other rig. I could not see myself doing that with that rig. It, um, I just couldn't do it. It was just too new of a body. This one here I'd gotten used, so I went ahead and said, "Yeah, let's do it." So, um, <clears throat> how the paint work worked? Uh, again, I had Dave paint it for me. Great guy, I really appreciate it. Um, basically, all we did is uh, we got it sanded and got it prepped. Um, I bonded it, got all my holes filled. Um, if you guys remember, there was a hole here. There was a couple holes here and here. Uh, there was also a hole up here on the uh, roof of the truck. Um, so I basically got all those primed and we got it sanded, got it prepped and ready. And then uh, Dave went crazy with the paint. Um, again, this here is that rustic look paint. You can get close up here. That is that like red um, rustic paint kind of that I found that I use that we use for a primer. Um, and then after that, we basically did a uh, light coat of blue. Uh, we I think he had shot actually yes he had shot the uh, the gray primer look on the spots that we kind of wanted to do the gray primer look at like the trucks kind of being redone in a sense um, like maybe it was getting in the process of getting redone and then it just kind of took longer than expected you know type thing and the rust is starting to come back through again it's kind of the look I wanted um, like I said guys it turned out phenomenal I love it uh, and then after that we basically masked off the primer spots, shot the blue, and then took a very, very light grit sandpaper, sanded the whole truck down, um, to give it the old look instead of being a shiny new truck look. So, that is how that got done. The, uh, mirrors, as you can see, uh, were screwed in. I wanted to do the screw. These are the flex mirrors. So, I didn't want them to fall off with the gluing. Uh, the headlight lenses were glued. I want to get the uh, headlight taillight cover look for this. Or the headlights and taillights light kit for this, I should say. Not look. Um, okay, so let's move on. Uh, you guys can see, like I said, the truck turned out phenomenal. I finally used my uh, metal toolbox. Of the uh, bed here. Um, mounting this 
We use a little hot glue and then two zip ties. We put them back there. They kind of blend in a little bit. Don't look really that bad. Uh, there's still some, some drilling that out. There's still some powdery plastic substance <laughs> on there. But uh, yeah, there's the uh, bed. Like I said, I wanted to go with the flat bed look due to the post happened to be moved back. That's kind of how I wanted to do that. Um, and then as you guys can see, the uh, back frame has been cut. Um, this is just pushed into place. Gets you to get a close up. It just pushed into place. It's not going nowhere. Granted, if you grab it and try to hold it from there, yes, it will rip out. But setting there, it's I'm moving the whole truck. It's not going nowhere. So for now, it's going to stay that way. This will be changed. Like I said, I want to get a hitch system for this truck. Um, this truck will be pulling the trailer, uh, pulling uh, some scale cars and whatnot, and all that good stuff. I will be having a video out soon, guys, of the trailer. So, another paint around on this side of the truck. And then we'll uh, turn the truck around let you guys see the other side. There's the front. All right. Um, a lot of you guys may notice um, I had bought this truck. It had came with this cab. It came with the bed and came with everything with the tr another RC truck that I had bought. Um, you guys can see here, you guys may not have noticed, but it's a huge eyesore for me. The um, glass that came with this truck was the wrong glass. I had to do a lot of modifications to make this glass work. Um, it's still not perfect, guys. I may end up ordering the, the proper glass. I mean, it's in there. It's not going nowhere. So we'll see how the first run goes and uh, all that. I mean, I tell you what, guys, I love the truck. I think it turned out phenomenal. There's the back glass. I hope you guys can really see what I'm talking about by not being the right glass. But right in there, there's the actual line of the glass that may be hard to see in the camera. It is not the proper, proper glass at all. Everything else that came with this truck was the right, right deal. So I don't know if maybe the person had more than one hard body and got the windshield stuff mixed up or how it all went but I did unfortunately get the wrong glass and I still used it but it worked I have it uh, hot glued into place for now and the nice thing about hot glue is I can actually rip that off and uh, use it again it's not going to hurt the body that's the nice of that All right. Get a good far shot here. There it is. I think the truck turned out phenomenal, guys. Phenomenal. I love the truck. All right, guys. But uh, there it is. That there is F-350 uh, all ready to rock the trails today. We're going to be doing, like I said, a mini tough truck challenge uh nothing huge just a couple guys uh we're gonna have some fun with our trucks uh i'll try to get the cameras running i don't know when i'll have the video up guys i will try to get the video up soon i have some more drift videos that i need to put up of the drift competition that we went to um i have a few other loose videos that need to go up this video here is going to go up uh this should be the next video that will hit so you guys are watching this. This was the next video from the uh, teaser drift video that I did. Um, so uh, if you guys haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Hit that subscribe button on down below. Hit the share button. Share this video. Uh, and uh, thanks again, guys, for watching. I uh, appreciate the subscribers that I do have, guys. And uh, thanks again. We'll check you all later. Take it easy. 
Peace. Make sure you subscribe for more RC action to come your way.